So when I tested the piece of wire, these are the values that I recorded. And I did it just by pausing the video and looking at the reading from the voltmeter and the ammeter at that time. So I'm now going to plot this on a graph where I've got voltage on the y-axis and current on the x-axis. So these are the axes I've got. I've got the voltage here, the current there. So what I can now do is actually plot this data. Now the first point is at zero, zero down here. Uh, when we had a voltage of 1.47, uh, that's going to be about here, 1.5, and we had 0 0.09. So that's going to be here on the graph. And now I'm just going to put in the rest of these points. Okay, just made a small mistake with that last point over there. So this is the data that we've got. We can see there's this linear relationship, and I'm just going to use my ruler to draw a straight line. And this is going to be going through the origin because when we had zero volts, we had zero current. So I'm going to make sure that I've got approximately the same number of points above and below that line. I'm then just going to draw in, I'm just going to go from here actually, I've got this line here. And what this tells us is that the voltage is proportional to the current. And that's because we have a straight line that goes through the origin. In actual fact, this demonstrates Ohm's law that says if you've got a conductor at a constant temperature, then the potential difference is going to be proportional to the current for an ohmic conductor. And wire can be an ohmic conductor provided the temperature is constant. And that's why I kept on turning the power pack off between the results. So this one over here, this is the characteristic for a wire and you'll see that it's very similar to the characteristic for a resistor where we have a constant resistance because the potential difference or the voltage is proportional to the current.